Alright, so I needed cushions for my bedroom modeling tutorial, walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. So this video is just going to fully focus on making cushions and making like different variations. So anyway, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get going. Alright, so we're going to be working on making a cushion. And honestly, it is not that complicated. Um, you don't need anything more than like the original cube. Maybe you need like a force modifier, a force emitter or whatever, but force field, sorry. But that's pretty much it. Um, I am going to deform this and that is the reason I added these loop cuts over here. So I could easily just do this star shape. Now, something else I want to do is I want these to be smaller along the Z axis. So something like this and the reason for that will become apparent soon enough. I'm going to add a force field and this force field is basically going to act as the air or you know the feathers or whatever we have inside the cushions. Um, but there, there needs to be like some changes. The default strength is way too low so I'm going to just increase that a hundredfold and all right now we can come to the actual cushion and add a cloth modifier but as you'll obviously notice it falls down we don't need that to happen so we're gonna come down here and turn off the effect of gravity so once that is done it won't fall down anymore and there we go but something is still wrong and like from what I can tell it's just not deforming enough so all we really need to do is just add in some subdivisions but the subdivisions like when they're added in like this you know it, it's kind of messy so you need to bevel it first and then you can subdivide it um, I'm gonna move these up like above the cloth modifier and okay so it basically looks like this now what happens if I play this right now there we go that's like much better like it actually looks like a cushion um, what if I you know shade smooth all right that's fine um, but I can actually make it look better than this like there are two ways to make it look better and you know uh, more realistic or whatever you could increase the number of subdivisions before the cloth modifier or you could add more subdivisions after the modifier so like down here now generally I don't like adding subdivisions at the end because I'm going to be, I'm going to be exporting this all right I'm going to come over here export and this item as an FBX so that is this one so I'm gonna export this and say I want like four different types of uh, cushions so I'm just gonna keep playing it and oh wait there's like not a lot of uh, you know changes between this it's just one single thing um, so I guess we do need to like add more details before we deform it so let's just go all the way back and then play it there we go so I can use this as one cushion next step I just wait for it to be like slightly different and use that as another cushion um, what else I can do I can straight up rotate this and then okay but that won't actually change anything so a good idea is to just like take these two and come over here add a vertex group and assign this you can go back to the cloth shape and pin both of these so now you could like easily move it basically say over here and there we go so it actually looks different now like you know because this side is not as deformed as this one um, I'm going to move it back over here though because I just want to move this all right uh, what if I increase its strength say 500 would that make it better yeah, that definitely makes it better so you can basically move the force modifiers around now and have like all sorts of different shapes um, you can even use like more than one to have weird shapes like this uh, it basically you can use this for you know whenever another object is basically on top of it or whatever so yeah this is how you can easily make different shapes in blender uh, you can do all sorts of crazy crazy things and I guess like a good example of it would be just say this like as I move it the object like actually you know changes um, 
you can make it better by adding in self collision over here but from like what i know and what i have like actually worked with self collision increases the calculations like insanely okay so if you can manage to do your thing without self collision without this thing i would suggest it because right now i just activated self collision and you can tell like things are going badly just look at this <laughs> this is not something that you want um obviously if you that if you use like less distance it would be a lot cleaner but it would increase the calculations even further so yeah you don't really want that um secondly something else you need to know is when you're exporting this you shouldn't be adding their subdivision modifiers at the end you can because anything like below the cloth modifier you can just do that on you know what's it called on your final scene that you have for the purpose of like okay i just want this one bit and nothing else so just move this to like cursor which is like at the world origin um play this okay i want this shape uh, whatever that's perfectly fine um is this actually at 500 yeah this is at 500 so i want this shape just apply all the modifiers if you have to apply all of these modifiers and just just export this because once you apply the modifiers this is the shape of the actual mesh you can rotate this as you want so one second rotate it along x like you can legit just rotate this however you want um i wonder can i create a plane over here there you go and obviously, like, depending on the materials that you use, it can look a lot nicer or worse than this. So, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial, and I will be using this cushion in my video. Um, I think I'm using it in my bedroom modeling tutorial, which is a really long series, and yeah, thanks for sticking with me.